Well, prison time for a teen convicted of helping a 16-year-old commit suicide. Even more astonishing was the fact that Tyrell Presbyterian videotaped the suicide. Today, a judge sent the 19-year-old to prison for a minimum of five years and up to life. In tonight's Justice File report, ABC4's Marcos Ortiz says the victim's mother did not get justice. Shonda Brown's mother says her daughter wasn't suicidal, but a month after meeting Tyrell Trabitian, she was dead. She claims he talked her into the suicide using drugs to get the job done. I cannot describe to you the pain of losing a child. I, I, there are no words. Words from the mother of 16-year-old Shonda Brown, who hung herself. Her body was found in a noose by a turkey farmer in a canyon in Utah County. A cell phone with the recording of her suicide was found near her body. Tyrell Prezison's voice was also found on the recording. Today, he was sent to prison for helping Brown commit suicide. He admitted to buying the rope used to kill Brown, testing it and videotaping it because he wanted to see someone die. I'm also hoping that although I don't deserve it, the, the victim's family will be able to forgive me for my immature and thoughtless and rash decisions. But Brown's mother was in no mood for forgiveness. She blamed Probisian for her daughter's suicide and given her mind-altering drugs prior to her death. Because he manipulated her so severely and it's just a shock to all of our family. Prosecutors call Probisian a sociopath for encouraging her to die. He claims Probisian tried to lure other teens to die as well and even had plans to gain fame after he got out of jail. And in August of this year, he was writing to others about how he could utilize and benefit from his notoriety due to this case. Talking about how he could start a YouTube channel and have instant subscribers because of his status in our community. Probisian, who was hoping for jail time, not prison, was ready for whatever punishment he was given. What I did, I'm not proud. And it doesn't deserve pity. There really is no true justice because the only true justice would be having my daughter back in my arms. The judge gave Probitian credit for time served, meaning one and a half years, and technically he could be out of prison in three and a half years. But the prosecutor said that's likely not to happen because of the aggravating circumstances. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.